facial expressions make an animated character come to life. Animating the face is vital when working on character animation. Let's get started. Hey guys, so today we are going to be animating this character over here. We are going to be adding this facial expression animation that looks pretty cool. And we will be doing that without using any plugins. So let's get this project started. First, I'm going to import my character. I'm going to right click import file and I'm going to select my layer. Let me organize my file. I'm going to parent everything to the head and I'm going to scale the head like this. Now I'm going to click Control A so I can select all the layers, right click, create shapes from vector layers, and then I'm going to delete all these layers. Okay, so let's do some pre-compositions now. First, I'm going to pre-compose the mouth. So I'm gonna click the mouth, Control D to duplicate, hold Control so I can select these two, right click and pre-compose, and I'm gonna name this mouth. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with the eye. So I'm gonna select everything. So actually I'm gonna group these. I want to have the left eye and the right eye being in the same pre-compositions. So I'm going to show you why in a couple of seconds. So let's select the pupils and the eyes and uh, pre-compose them and name this pre-composition eyes. Click Ctrl A to select all the layers. Hold Ctrl and click on the head so you can exclude the head and parent everything to the head like this. We are going to start animating this character. The facial expression that we are going to be creating today would be from happy to sad. But first, let's create the main action. So first, I'm going to select the head and click P. I'm going to add a keyframe and click F9 so I can easy ease it. Now, go to about the, the tenth frame. Make the head go down a little bit, just like this. Then, at around the 90th frame or so, make it go up slightly. And then here, just copy and paste the first keyframe. So I'm going to click N. And now I'm going to play this. Okay, so this is a bit slow. Let's move this keyframe over here and this one over here. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I think it looks good. Now let's select the position and open the graph editor so we can make some adjustments to these keyframes. I'm going to select all these keyframes and click on this icon here. I want to separate the dimensions like this. And now let's just smooth these keyframes. Now let's close the graph editor and now let's add some position keyframes to the other elements. Do you want to get the After Effects project files for this? I created a membership program for animators that includes two After Effects templates every month, weekly exercises, live group calls, and access to a private Facebook and WhatsApp group where you can share your work and get feedback instantly. Join the growing community of animators and motion designers and master After Effects. The link is in the description below. So I'm gonna select everything from the mouth to the eyes. Yeah, so these layers only. Click P so I can bring up the position and add a keyframe. Click F9 so I can easy ease it. And then, like right here, make all the layers go down just slightly. Now, here, make them go up like this. And then, here, you can just copy and paste the first keyframe because that's our base position, like this. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so now let's animate the back hair. Just like these two layers, click P so you can bring up the uh, position keyframes. And now at this time, make it go up. Now make the back hair go down. So as you can see here, the back hair overlaps with the, with the head. So bring these two layers below the head. So yeah, so it should be like this. And now just copy and paste the first keyframe. Just make the movement smaller. It doesn't need to bounce so much. So now let's animate the front hair just slightly. Uh, bring up position, add a keyframe. So this time make it go down slightly. Here make it go up slightly. And now here just copy and paste the first keyframe. So let's see how that looks. 
Okay, perfect. So now let's lock this composition. So that will be our main composition, but we want to lock it because now we will be opening the pre-compositions that we created for the mouth and the eyes. And uh, we want to have this as a reference. So first let's adjust the mouth. I'm gonna open up the mouth pre-composition and I'm gonna just drag and drop it here. Okay, so this is my pre-composition, the ones that we are working on now, and this is my reference. This is super easy, so I can have a reference of how the mouth looks on the character. So I'm gonna open up this layer, and I am going to like hide this one and this one. So that would be my first layer, that would be the base. I'm gonna click on it, enter, and I'm gonna name this base. Okay, so now I'm gonna duplicate it, and then I'm gonna open it up again. I am going to delete everything except for the second group and that will enter and that will be T. So now let's duplicate the base again, bring it up here and delete everything except for group one, enter and name this tongue. So, cause as you can see, some of these layers go outside of the base. So we need to create a mask. I'm gonna duplicate this layer and I'm gonna click enter and I'm gonna name this mask. I'm gonna bring it above all these layers. Um, I'm gonna like switch the modes and the mode should be stencil alpha. As you can see here, all these layers like magically disappear. And the reason for that is that because I have like a continuous rasterization clicked. Remove it and everything is all right again. Okay, perfect. So now that we have the base, the thing is that we are going to be animating the path of the base. So basically uh, I'm going to be moving uh, and I'm gonna change the shape of the base uh, of the mouth. However, the mask won't change that way. So that's why we need to do some parenting. Let's hide all these things. Let's open up uh, group three from the mask path. And now let's click on the swirl icon over here and let's parent this to this. Okay, so now let's, let's do the same thing for the other group path. I'm gonna open up group four here as well and drag and drop this lace here. Okay, I'm gonna add a keyframe for these two path uh, layers over here. And now let's change the shape. So now let's animate the teeth and the tongue. I'm gonna select all these, click P, add a keyframe, easy, easy. And now just make them all go down. Actually the tongue should be... Okay, so now let's open up the graph editor, select these two pad keyframes. Now just select these two and now hold shift and move this like this. Now select these two Hold shift again and move this to the left like this. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Okay. Okay, so let's open up our main composition. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so now let's animate the eyes. I'm gonna I'm gonna again lock this composition, open the eyes composition, drag and drop it here. So now I want her to blink. Okay, so first let's create a rectangular shape like this. Just make sure your stroke is at five and the fill color is the same color as the, the, the skin of our character. I'm gonna click enter and I'm gonna rename that eyelid and then I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna hold shift and move it here. So that would be eyelid two. Okay, uh, this looks good. And now let's click on the left eye, control D to duplicate it, bring it above the eyelid and then alpha made it. Now duplicate it, bring it above, and alpha made it. Let's repeat this same thing for the other eye. So let's hide the masks, and let's also hide the eyes. So um, I'm gonna select all these eyelid layers that I created, click P, and same with pupils. Uh, when the character looks down, like right here, I want her to blink. So I'm gonna select all these, keyframes for the eyelids and I'm gonna move them here. Now let's select both of these, move them here. Let's select the, the other two, move them here. So it should look like this. Add another keyframe and around this time, just copy and paste the first keyframe. So I just noticed something that I wanted to show you. Like when you move the eyelids, the stroke disappears like here, scale down the masks just a little bit. So click on the masks, 
click S, just make it 268. Okay, so now let's move the pupils a little bit. We already have keyframes for the position. Just change them here. And when she blinks, I want these pupils to end up here. So move them like this. Okay, now let's animate the eyebrows. I'm gonna select these two eyebrows. I'm gonna add a keyframe for the path. Let me select these two, click use, and then add like around this time, I want the eyebrows to go down. Okay, so this is how it looks. Okay, let's animate the nose slightly. The nose can go down here. It can go up a bit. And this key keyframe is the same as the keyframe at the start. Okay, let's adjust the pad just slightly. If you want to get the project files for this project, as well as a full tutorial that includes face rig with joysticks and sliders, you can join our membership program. The link will be in the description below. Make sure you check it out. Thank you so much for your time and I'm going to see you next week.